Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Advanced Logic, and welcome back to. Okay, just let me let me just buy my things, please. No, please, no. Anyway, I'm definitely going to need a blue potion because I, my health is starting to get high up there. So thank you for the blue potion. So replenished all my hearts, which is pretty good. I don't need any red potions because the rest of my freaking po po bottles are filled up with soup. And man, do I like it. I didn't have to pay a damn thing for them either. Thank you for the blue potion, though. I will accept that. So anyway, just to be on the safe side and figure out where we have to go next, we're going to stop by Telma's bar to see if there's anyone that could help us with that. Hello, you big titty lady. First, I'm going to go talk to these people. All right, who moved where? I wonder if the sacred grove that Russell mentioned is near this mark. So, yeah, we're going to have to go back to the same area where we were at before in order to reach the Sacred Grove. Anyway, where'd you go? Lung, huh? The Beast of Snow Peak hasn't appeared in Zora's Domain since its last visit. In the end, the troubles in Hyrule and the events on Snow Peak were beyond even my imagination. Honestly, there's got to be someone who knows what really happened. Happened with what? I just, like, are you going to say anything more about that? And no matter where you, some kind of incident occurs, your name always seems to come up. Hey, don't mis misunderstand me. I meant that as a compliment, yeah? As a fellow worker in the fight to restore peace to Hyrule, you have my thanks. And may we both keep up the good work. Alright, cool. I'm pretty sure you don't have any more information, do you? And uh, now you're just gonna say the same thing, I think. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Did you see the sad state of Hyrule Castle? the urgent desire of this group of ours to restore peace to this kingdom as swiftly as possible. Lunk, please continue to lend us your strength. Alright. I really have nothing much else to say to these guys. And are you going to say anything else while you're here? Yeah, alright. Just satisfy that craving. I'm pretty sure you're on something to make you really freaking hungry. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the Sacred Grove. How's it going, man? Home sweet home, right? It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. Say, do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there's an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. The ancestors of the High Ru Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I'm sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Lunk, would you take on the writ this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Yeah, I'm kind of going to need you to leave, though. I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. Yeah, either that or this. I, either way is fine. Huh. Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you'll definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. Golden Cuckoo, huh? Well, fuck it. Let's go with it. Woo, man, this thing gets some distance. I better not fuck this up. And thank you for having that little stop right there, game. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. And I don't think there's really any wind blowing across here. Or well, maybe there is. I don't really know. Maybe I have to set this thing down. Because I kind of doubt I'll be able to reach that. Man, we haven't used this freaking Gale Boomerang in ages, so... Hey, it's finally coming into use again. <laughs> I haven't used it in such a long time, I swear. Maybe I should start... Oh, crap. Don't do this to me, Golden Cuckoo! And I have no idea what may have happened to that, like to the bridge beforehand. I know there was definitely something here before, but... And eh, just grab you. And... I don't know, maybe we can go out the rest of this with Midna, but I don't think that's gonna let us. I mean, the guy is right across there, but I don't think he'd be able to see us anymore at this point. Eh, let's just take the Kuko with us. <laughs> And now, returning to the Sacred Grove. 
This time as a human though, or Hylian, whatever you want to call it these days. Human-esque. <laughs> so yeah, apparently we're doing this again. Maybe the jump strike will actually help us right here. Let's try it. Oops. Let's try it. Woo! Getting some mileage out of it, at the very least. So if you guys are noticing, the Sacred Grove is uh, in the night... or There's a nighttime version of the Sacred Grove. Which means... Pole Souls. Just, just Pole Souls. Eh, man. Now... I'm trying to remember where one of them is at. I know there's one directly in this area. Anyway. Nope. Get those guys out of here, man. I don't think it was in this spot in particular, but I think as long as you're chasing the skull kid around, uh, it's going to stay in the it's going to stay in perpetual night. And just poke <laughs> it wasn't in this area then. I think it might be in the upcoming one. Well, I'm just checking around. Oh, there it is. Yep. Well, while I'm here, I go in the wrong way, but screw it. Eh, who needs a jump strike when you have a spin attack? It seems really inconvenient to pull off that jump strike. Unless, just like, you have to leave yourself helpless, but like, at least with the spin attack, it's not as helpless. You just... Eh. You just have to hold the B button, whereas with the jump strike, you have to hold the... You have to target someone, and then hold the A button. Anyway, come over here, buddy. I'm kind of going to need your soul. Just stop swinging at me. There we go. One down. Oh, God, they're all going to jump me. Was it worth the souls? Yes! Yes, it was! Damn it. Yeah, bumping into any wall will just screw up whatever remainder of the little minute charge you have so just be careful on that because next thing you know you'll be getting pod shots all over you anyway I'm just gonna try to outrun these guys well out spin run sort of thing I don't even know how to word it properly now where would he be at I think this is just the area we came we first went came through in the first place and there's this oh, wait a minute you light these up There you go, buddy. I wonder if this is going to be any indication. Nah? Okay, I was just making sure. Maybe it was going to help. I don't know. I don't know these things, guys. And was that all of them? Alright, cool. I think I see a light over here. And I think it may have gone this way. Wait a minute, I think this is what we have to light. I remember there being treasure of sorts when we lit one of these lanterns. And the treasure is these guys. Well, there we go. And bombs. A hefty sum of them too, Jesus. <laughs> Dang, they were really making sure, look, you're gonna need all of these bombs, I guess. Oh, there he is. Oh, crap. Right before they hit me. I didn't want that. And all of a sudden, there's a path right there. That doesn't even make any sense. Where is that at? Oh, there it is. Okay. New paths opening up all over the place. And we're going to have to keep following them around for them. And I think I see a light over there. Pretty much just follow the lights. Because that's the general area where Skull Kid is uh, running towards. And if there's an, uh, and if once it disappears, if it goes into another area, then just follow that light again. And I don't see any lights in particular right here. Oh, there it is. I see a light. Never mind. And I don't think it's. Wait a minute. I'm going this way now. And it's just leading us around all over the place. Unless I'm just thinking about this whole thing wrong.
Maybe I have to go up this way. Oh, crap. I'm trying to remember this properly, but it does sound like it's here. It sounds nearby. Stabby, stabby! I think he's in the trees. There he is. So yeah, he's going to be hiding in spots that you can't reach normally, so you're going to have to start shooting at him. How could I forget that? Maybe they gave us the bombs to make bomb arrows, but I kind of doubt that it seems overkill because you just have to hit him, I think, a few times before you finally chase after him again. And there he goes running off. And he just disappears. Okay, that's fine too, I suppose. Now, where did he go this time? Not right there. Oh, wait. Here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, there's this one area we could... I think there's supposed to be a, tre a chest in this particular area, but I don't know. We'll figure it out soon enough. But pretty much this is round two against the Skull Kid right here. And of course that rock is gone, and there was something I missed when I destroyed that rock. I don't know how I forgot. Like, as soon as like, uh, I finished recording, I'm like, wait a minute, ah, crap. And then once... Like, once I made my way out of the Sacred Grove, I couldn't come back to it, so there's really nothing I could do about it. So, but now we're back, and now we could do something proper with it. Anyway, let's just... Come on, man. I have arrows now. I'm not a freaking wolf anymore. This ain't nothing to me. You are reaching some really uh, crazy spots, but I'm, I don't know. Considering my aim... <laughs> Come on, man. That was nothing. <laughs> that was fun. I'll tell you what. I'll let you into a secret place. So now he's giving us access to a certain spot in the Sacred Grove that we couldn't reach beforehand. And that spot has a certain something that we couldn't grab either. But before that, I think it was... I don't know. Maybe it was this area? I can't really remember. There's supposed to be some, like, s secret grotto around here. Unless I jumped the gun with it. Or maybe we're, like, in a different area altogether with this. Hey, I think I'm probably thinking a little ahead. First, we'll just... Move on with the rest of this. So here we are in a different spot of the Sacred Grove that we couldn't access before, because there was this block right here, but once we push it, it'll give us a little shortcut back to the same area. As you can see right there. And if you can hear that little ringing, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're finally gonna finish it. But first comes this. A sacred ancient forest. So this was what they were talking about. Ye yes, Minna, yeah, that's what they were talking about. But first, let's go grab that before I forget it again. Where's my freaking boomerang? Come here, buddy. You ain't gonna be lonely for long. There you are. A male snail. Though in the, I think, the French version of it... They refer to this like a male-female snail. It's just like when you collect one, it, actually I think it even mentions it in the bug little menu thing. Whenever you check the snails, there's like a golden-bodied male snail. It was found in the Sacred Grove. It might actually be a female. So yeah, that's pretty much a nice little nod to uh, snail anatomy and whatnot. So let's just, I think there's nothing we can do right here. Unless there was something in the spot. Oh wait. 
I think we have to go back to the same spot where we got this Master Sword in the first place. But first, I want to go grabbing another thing. I don't think... Oh yeah, we can bust out this map. And there's three more poses that we are missing in the... Uh, well, not in the Sacred Grove, just... Uh, Farron Province in general. I know there's one around there, but there's also something we could grab in this spot. Where we first found this pole soul right here. I think it was like the second one we ever found. But anyway, where the rock was at, there's a sacred grotto. Secret grotto. Sacred. Ah, eh, same thing. Fuck it. I don't even care. But anyway, there's all these freaking. Just destroy everything. Just say fuck everything and kill everyone. Woo! Ah, damn it. I was trying to... Yeah, don't do that to me. Bastards. And I think there might be a few more. I think we have to kill... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's one right there. Come on down, buddy. Come to Papa. Actually, ah, uh, oh, man, I wanted to do the jump strike, but screw it. <laughs> I wanted to just overkill it. But then again, uh, uh, mortal, mortal Draw would have done the same thing. Should have gone for that. But anyway, you open this, and you get a piece of heart out of it. And we just need one more to get another heart container. Yeah, we're going through these like nothing, man. It's like collecting everything and everyone. And of course, I wouldn't have collected that golden snail without knowing that we could grab the, nether, the next one soon enough. And of course, now it's no longer nighttime, uh, freaking sacred grotto. Or not, or sacred grove. I don't know. Sacred secret grotto grove. So it's just, they both initial with SG. But anyway, let's go back to the spot where we had to put in the sacred, uh, ma nah, the master sword, sacred, whatever the hell you want to call it these days. And I know there's something here, but we can't really grab it unless I go out of my way to try to make it nighttime. Funny enough, if we had access to that a little sooner, I think we could have done that dungeon a lot, uh, this dungeon a lot sooner as well. But anyway, let's try to make our way back right there. As what sucks is that I can't really go for more pulsos on the way, but hey! Who needs pulsos when you can do freaking portals? Now we can just portal our way here whenever we want. You know, just in case we forgot something. Shifty eyes, which is good. Thank you, game. Oh wait, there was. Oh there, oh there was two more, and I killed them a little too, a little too far apart from each other. Damn it! <laughs> okay, and then there's these freaking keys. Ah, eh, screw it, just kill them all. Fuck it, just bring them back. There you go, buddy. Now let's just kill these two right here. And then bring all these three together. There we go. We are done here. <laughs> anyway, we got that. And now we have access to the next dungeon. Honestly, we're going through it a lot smoother now that I did all the collecting before we even did the fourth one. So, yeah. I don't know whether to be thankful or not, but I feel like I'm going about this a little too fast now. Anyway, I already got that golden snail, but now this pot is open. And that's the final golden bug. And as you can see, look at that. 24 out of 20 freaking four. I'd want to go back to Agatha right now, but I feel like it'd be a waste of time. But anyway, 
that's really all we can do now. <laughs> all that's left is the dungeon in front of us. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, we're going through the Temple of Time. See you guys then.